entrepreneurs. Welcome to another episode of Entrepreneur Fundamentals. My name is Robert Bitto. Today we're going to talk about reading lists. It seems like every entrepreneur channel on the internet talks about how important it is to read books. There's even a guy out there who reads a book a day and he claims that you can party with Leonardo DiCaprio in the Hollywood Hills if you read a book a day. And I didn't even know about this guy until I was on a treadmill at the gym and the guy next to me saw that I was reading because that's my reading time. And he asked me if I read a book a day. And I thought, what? Where, where is this coming from? Then he told me about some guy on the internet, a supposed entrepreneur, who was selling some PDF file on success. And he was telling me that this entrepreneur on the internet reads a book a day and that's the key to wealth. Well, it sounded like a gimmick to me and it is a gimmick. It sounds cool, you remember it. it, it gets stuck in your head. And that's great for the guy selling this stuff, selling those downloads. But um, I read because I, first of all, because I like to, and if I read business stuff, then it has to do with stuff that I need to know. And um, that's what I advocate when it comes to reading. I don't have a reading list. A lot of these entrepreneurs or, or pseudo entrepreneurs, hucksters or whatever on the internet have a, a must reading list, a top 10 books for all entrepreneurs to read. Well, as an entrepreneur, there is no formula you're going to follow, okay? It is really all about knowledge or your lack thereof. You could be a really good salesman. So why would you want to read a, a sales book off of somebody's random top 10 list? What you have to do is find the deficiencies in your own knowledge, in your own skills, and work on those and acquire the knowledge in whatever way you can, not necessarily by reading. You can listen to podcasts, radio programs, watch videos, do whatever to acquire that, na that information that you're deficient in, okay? Or, you know, like in my case, I sometimes read inspirational business writings because a lot of times it's really hard to keep yourself motivated so if you see me reading a business book it's usually going to have to do with motivation but like i said if you're a good salesperson you don't need to read a sales book if you're de deficient in accounting or finance then go to the thrift store get a two dollar finance book an accounting book or watch uh, some accountant's YouTube channel and learn that way. Um, if you don't know how to market, then, you know, go for the knowledge. Don't go for, you know, the gimmick of a book a day. Just assess what you need, what you're lacking, and then go for it. I like reading because I've always liked reading. Um, my two brothers, for example, hate reading, so they don't read. I'm reading two books right now. One is called The Magic of Thinking Big, and that actually was a recommendation from another small business person. And then the other book that I'm reading is a historical piece called The Crown of Mexico, and it's about the second Mexican empire in the 1860s. And it's because I like history. And I always read while I'm at the gym and I'm on the treadmill or doing some other cardio. I really don't read any other time, uh, any other time, uh, except if I have some serious downtime, like waiting for jewelry duty or something like that. But for me, I think uh, f reading is, is a pleasurable thing. I get a lot out of it, but you might not. As an entrepreneur, you do have to acquire knowledge. How you get it is up to you, and what you get is up to you too. So assess your deficiencies and then seek out the knowledge from a mentor, from video, from podcasts, whatever. It doesn't have to be books.
Books are cool, but they're not for everybody. That's all I have to say on this subject. Remember to work hard and may all of your entrepreneurial dreams come true.